Hi guys, we are talking about the die example questions, paper A question number 9. Intrapulmonary shunt increase. Mixed ox venous oxygen tension, arterial oxygen saturation, when pulmonary blood flow is partially obstructed, in the presence of atelectasis with severe fluid overload. Uh, let's analyze every option. Mixed venous oxygen tension is also called PVO2 and it usually decreases, not increase pulmonary shunt. As in pulmonary shunt, uh, diffusion of oxygen and captation to the blood is decreased and of course level of oxygen uh, decrease, decrease tension and decrease also saturation. Uh, pulmonary blood flow is partial obstructed. Okay, it is partial, not complete. There is still uh, perfusion of the uh, pulmonary area. It is wrong. In the presence of atelectasis, yes, it is correct. Atelectasis means uh, collapse of the alveoli and decrease in a, in a decrease in an area that uh, participate in a in diffusion uh, and oxygen is not exchanged here and option 5 uh, with severe fluid overload I mean um, edema and uh, drone of the alveoli with fluid <coughs> sorry guys and of course this is uh, mostly right to left shunt as from the right ventricle it is going to the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein and coming back to the left uh, atrium but uh, can also be uh, shunt uh, left to right where shunt is is not so evident let's read many facts and you can write them down are very important for example are high yield so intrapulmonary shunt mean uh, diffusion perfusion mismatch uh, or both of them and the defected gas exchange so you will see on a uh, acid base equilibrium low oxygen and high carbon dioxide uh, partial obstruction means that there is still perfusion decreased but perfusion is present and uh, exchange will occur Atelectasis means ventilation is not present, but perfusion is. Uh, severe fluid overload means pulmonary edema, where uh, perfusion is present, but gas do not exchange through this uh, drone uh, alveoli. So, increased uh, PVO2 by decrease in oxygen consumption. Uh, partial oxygen venous pressure is uh, increased when oxygen is not consumed so oxygen is coming to the blood it is going forward and throughout the entire body but tissue do not get this oxygen and uh, pressure of of the oxygen is still increased or high uh, many causes of are hypothermia in which uh, all the processes are uh, uh, frozen or decreased left to right shunt uh, where uh, uh, oxygenated blood is going back to uh, the pulmonary uh, circulation and will achieve a new oxygen to the present and of course pressure of oxygen will be high and high cardiac output also impaired tissue uptake like cyanotoxicity, sepsis, wedged pulmonary artery, catheter, schwangans. And the second condition is decreased the uh, venous pressure of oxygen. So oxygen is consumption too much by conditions like fever, exercise, shivering, malignant hyperthermia and thyroid store. All of them increase activity of enzymes that produce uh, ATP and 
uh, and energy so decreased O2 delivery hypoxia low cardiac output and abnormal or low hemoglobin so uh, pressure of oxygen is decreased when uh, and there is hypoxia and requirements increases for low cardiac out output and delivery of the blood to many areas is, is decreased there is coming uh, as a presence of low oxygen and as a result will decrease much more than even is here are many links you can access by self going back once again to the condition of the question intrapulmonary shunts increase increase in presence of atelectasis uh, in severe fluid overload other conditions are incorrect and explain it why thank you for your watching